Here's Titans star running back Derek, Derek Henry. At this point, just take the running back position out of the game then. The ones that want to be great and work as hard as they can to give their all to an organization just seems like it doesn't even matter. I'm with every running back that's fighting to get what they deserve. we got to talk about this with our football insider Dave Naylor. Monday, the deadline for three running backs to either sign long-term or be stuck with that franchise tag. Barkley, Jacobs, Pollard go without long-term extensions. Davis is, is running back currently the most disrespected position in all of football? Without a question, Jay. I mean, what do we come used to in, in professional sports and especially the National Football League that salaries always go up? You look at the franchise tag for an NFL running back, which is $10 million at this time. I mean, go back to 2017, it was about $12 million. And the rest of the salary structure in the NFL, I mean, franchise tags are based on the average of the top five players at your position. So you're talking about the elite guys. And yet, you know, what they're being paid in the game is going down. The franchise tag for a running back is roughly 50% of what it is for a defensive lineman, a linebacker, a receiver, even safeties, roughly 50% more. And, I mean, you go back a decade, the franchise tag for a running back has gone up $2 million. The franchise tag for a quarterback has gone up $18 million, which is why... Even though Daniel Jones is not considered among the elite quarterbacks in the National Football League, and Saquon Barkley is certainly considered among the very best running backs in the NFL, uh, if he plays under that tag, he'll make about a quarter of what Daniel Jones will make this season. So those three backs don't get the long-term extensions they want, Dave. And then you've got Dalvin Cook. He's out there. He's a free agent. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott, he's out there. He's a free agent. I guess the question is, why is this happening? Why aren't these guys getting signed? Well, a lot of it has to do with the way the National Football League has gone. As a pass-heavy game, the rules have accommodated that. And we are in an era of elite quarterback play. I mean, even if you go back 20, 25 years and you look at the best quarterbacks in the NFL and what their completion percentage was, what their touchdown-to-interception ratio and in other statistics, uh, you know, the best of that era really don't compare to where we are today. And there's kind of a general rule in football. You know, the more... The better quarterback play becomes, the less running backs matter. That's why running backs matter more in college than they do in the NFL. And the clincher on this has really been the grip that analytics has taken on in the NFL. We see you know, teams gambling more on fourth down because of analytics. Well, the single biggest position group affected by analytics is running backs because what analytics tells teams is it's a poor investment if you're really trying to improve your team. You're better to spend your money protecting your quarterback, trying to get to the quarterback, deep targets, players that are going to disrupt deep targets, all those kinds of things. NFL teams, I mean, it's nothing against running backs, Jay. They just don't believe this is the investment that helps them win. Not only that, but uh, they are um, most likely the ones who absorb the most punishment, too. Tough times for an NFL running back. Uh, training camps uh, set to open this week. Very exciting. In that sense, Dave Naylor, great to talk to you. Have a great night, my friend. Thank you, Jay. Here's a look at the top 10 most expensive running backs for the upcoming season, according to Spotrack. Is that what it's called? Spotrack? What is that? You know, it probably won't make Barkley Jacobs or Pollard happy to know that the highest paid back is Bijan Robinson of the Atlanta Falcons, who has yet to even play a game. Last time a running back signed a long-term deal worth at least $10 million a year, the chubby Nick Chubb back in 2021.